Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? For Lychee Friday. What is it? December? What is what is today? Is it the 16th? <laughs> I'm like, I can't even think of what day of the, of the month. Anyway, it's probably about December 16th, right? And it looks like, sorry, I need to adjust this just a little bit. It looks like it's really high there. I don't know if that helped at all, but okay. I don't know. We'll see, right? So anyway, welcome, welcome. We are going to have some fun. I still don't like it. Okay. Sorry, my hand's like all on it there too. It's really kind of a futsy. Well, no, I shouldn't say futsy. Okay, maybe that's better, right? You guys tell me, I don't know. Can you even see me? Hello, Teresa, because I really want you to see my shirt. This is, so it says the elf made me do it. I can't even like, <laughs> my back up. You can kind of see it, right? The elf made me do it. Anyway, so I think it's kind of fun. Plus it's all like bright and shimmery and stuff. Um, so yeah, I love this. Um, two very good friends of mine, Emily and Mona, two sisters actually, got me this shirt. I had seen it downtown a couple of years ago and I told them how cute I thought it was and I didn't get it. And so apparently they like ran downtown and got it for me. So anyway, super cute. So hello, Robin. Thanks for joining us. So you guys, we're going to make some kind of last minute holiday treat ideas. So if you're still needing a little something, uh, maybe stocking stuffers or for coworkers or friends, I've got you covered, okay? So we're gonna have some fun today playing with, and I absolutely love, this is the Celebrate Everything, the Host Designer Series paper in the Holiday Mini Catalog. This is my probably my favorite pattern of paper. So of course, I had to make a cute little bag, um, a little treat bag with this paper that I'll show you in just a little while. But there are lots of great patterns in here. And this is kinda, kinda what I have left. Um, let's see, if I pull this out, you guys can kinda see, right? So you've got, um, maybe we'll just kinda flip, right? So this is not even all of them, I'm sure, but this is what I have in 12 by 12 pieces left, right? This one's fun for like New Year's, and I think that one's super cute. You could use, you can kind of see it's got bows on it, maybe for Valentine's Day even. And then the back side of that one for Valentine's Day or for Christmas, more um, like fireworks, right? And then I love these patterns too, right? Great, maybe for masculine, there's kind of a wood grain, like black and white wood grain. There's a little ziggy zaggy, again, great for like masculine cards. That paper would be great for holiday stuff too. And these are just fun, bright, bold. Love the stripey too, right? Another great Valentine-y. And then the polka dots on the back. So that's not even all of them. That's like I said, what I have, but it's beautiful paper. You get this for free when you place an order, a qualifying order of $150 or more. You can get this as one of your host rewards. So you guys all know that, right? When you put an order in um, of $150 or more, you get 10% in host rewards. So I think this is valued at $18 in host dollars. Normally, I think they would charge like $30 because it's a huge pack of paper. Anyway, you can get this for free with an order over $150. You get 10% in host rewards, and that increases too. So if you put like a $300 order in, you get 12% host rewards, and it kind of goes from there. So hopefully you guys all know that too. Um, <clears throat> I always like to make sure that my downline, any of my expired stampers know um, about those host rewards um, because there's that minimum um, sales that we need to keep up every single quarter to keep our demonstrator status active. So I always like to say in the very beginning when I first started out, uh, if you needed $300 in the quarter, what I would do is instead of doing $100 per month, because that would be $300, right? I would do two orders in the quarter for $150 each so I could get those free host rewards. So something to really kind of remember remember and think about that like I never put an order in less than $150 because I always wanted to get the free stuff too so anyway um, hopefully that makes sense so anyway but we're going to be playing with some fun paper today making cute treat bags um what else are we doing oh well last chance list you guys know this right the last chance list from the holiday mini catalog this is the whole big shebang it's like four pages long teeny tiny print a bunch of things have sold out already so make sure if you haven't gotten what you would like get it before it sells out hopefully what you want hasn't sold out already because it's already too late if that's the case but um and we had free shipping yesterday too which i noticed a bunch of people were able to take advantage of that also hopefully you guys knew about that and didn't miss out on that they kind of just announce it um and then you know a few days later it's happening so i tried Try to email and post on our Facebook group, but that's a great thing to, um, you know, always check your email and check our Facebook group right here. That kind of keeps you updated on everything going on. But yeah, so 
these um, items, what is still left, some of them are discounted up to 60% off. This goes until um, the mini catalog ends, which I think is January 4th or while supplies last. So, and like I always kind of like to point out, there's like this one page of carryover items in much larger print. Hello, Luann, how are you? Um, anyway, this is it. This little list right here is all that's carrying over from our holiday mini catalog. So there are a few things, um, not as many as I hoped, of course, um, but that's right. That means more fun new stuff will be coming in our next holiday mini catalog, which we won't worry about that because that's not for a while. So, um, but yeah, get those items while you still can. On clearance rack there's still a bunch of great stuff on there too so check that out also lots of good deals to be had this time of year right now right um what else oh the fitting florets collection i've mentioned this a couple of times but i just want to make sure because this is that collection of products that are only available a couple of them only available while supplies last two out of the four that are left i guess so there is the um fitting the framed florets bundle that will carry over <clears throat> actually it's part of our next mini catalog. So this stamp set and dies. The stamp set that I used on last Facebook Live, the framed and festive, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, but that's that super fun with like fun, um, like holiday uh, sentiments and then the mixed fonts in that stamp set. That one is available while supplies last until, I think this one is until January 4, January 4 also. And then also the fitting Florence designer series paper, that beautiful designer series paper, again, only available while supplies last. The gold swirls have already sold out, but I'm actually giving those away today on Facebook Live. So we will be doing that um, in just a few moments, actually. But again, just make sure you get what you'd like. So the stamp set, the framed and festive stamp set, and the fitting florets designer series paper. Those are the two that are only available while supplies last. The framed florets stamp set and the framed florets dies are gonna be in the next annual catalog. So you are next mini catalog, so you can get that anytime, okay? Um, and I have the link to um, the details on this um, above this Facebook Live video. I'll get that posted after we finish our Facebook Live video today, okay? Um, oh, I want to show you guys some cute Christmas cards that I have received. This is a fun, like, little Grinch, like, lots of punch art. Super duper cute, right? This is from my friend Roseanne, and she did a little stamping on the inside there, too. And it's also one of those kind of, is it like kind of a book binding, you know, where it's just this actually so this is one of probably our original dies too i didn't even really um think about that but that beautiful i'm trying to remember what the name of it was but this was like one of the first dies that came out um when the big shot first uh came out hey deb yes it's cold here isn't it anyway so cute how she did that so she kind of um scored it and then made the back there too so then it all fits together very nicely, right? So super cute, top note, yes, that's right, Luann, top note die, yes. One of the original, original dies that came with the Big Shot when we first started. Can't even like believe that. That was at the time when I was trying to decide, am I gonna stick with Stampin' Up or not? And I hadn't bought the Big Shot. So in order to keep my demo status up, I had to put in a huge order. And so I ordered the Big Shot, then of course a bunch of stuff that went with it. and that now the rest is history, I guess we would say. Uh, okay, so this one is from Linda Danis, and she did a beautiful job. You still have yours, Luann. I wish I had mine, because it's still one of my favorite, favorite dyes. Maybe they um, will come out with something similar again sometime, so. <laughs> and you have it too, that's awesome, Robin. I love it, I love it. Um, Okay, yeah, so back to this beautiful cardinal card. Isn't that gorgeous? I think she said she cased it for Mary Fish at Stampin' Pretty. Um, I'm trying to remember now. She's, I think she said that. Anyway, but I love, uh, and all the beautiful detail and coloring that she did on the cardinal. Right next, we have a card from Carolyn Lawrence, and it's the um, beautiful snowman, and she also did a lovely job coloring all of that, too. Um, and then that designer series paper. Don't fall in love with that. That's that Lights of Glow that's already sold out, so you can't get that anymore. Um, but just, she did, I don't know if you guys can see, kind of the um, shimmery, 
think she added some Wink of Stella onto that snowman too. And then here's a beautiful card from Sharon Greening. Um, just got this in the mail yesterday and just gorgeous, right? And what I love is the stamp does all of this. So it's kind of that, it kind of stamps all of the background and then the white, obviously there's no ink on. Um, so that really pops off the page there too, doesn't it? So thank you, Sharon. That was a beautiful card as well. Oh yeah, I love kind of the whole, the reason for um, the holidays right there, right? And then, okay, so I just have to share, um, <clears throat> this was a Christmas card that my dad and his wife sent, and I didn't actually make the card, which is okay, but their cat, Gracie, did, and then this is my mom, I'm sorry, my dad, my, my mom has passed away, she's been gone for like, oh my gosh, 19, almost 20 years actually. Um, but this is my dad, Denny, and then his wife, Jennifer. And then these are my kids and my two nieces. So let me see if I can do this. There's Cade and Emma and Lily and Bryn. And then Jennifer has two grandkids also. So this is Haley and this is Ben. So this is kind of my immediate family, I guess I would say. So I thought that was kind of fun. I thought it was a great picture, especially of um, my dad. Um, he has been in the hospital actually uh, since Thanksgiving. He went in Thanksgiving morning. So it's been kind of a crazy few weeks for us um, around here, but he looks so good and healthy there. And he actually just finally got to come home from the hospital on Wednesday this week. And then of course he like, I think did way too much um, yesterday at home. So he's, I think I heard he's still sleeping right now. So that's a good thing though. Um, he needs to get lots of rest and recover and hopefully feel good for Christmas. So anyway, I just thought I would share that too because I love that picture of him, especially because he looks very vibrant and healthy and he hasn't looked that way for a little while. So um, anyway, but yeah, he's on the mend. So, okay, Robin, we, we lost you. Hopefully, hopefully you've got the connection back. Um, cause I, it wasn't showing up here. I, I don't know if it was maybe on your end, maybe, um, internet connection or something, but hopefully let me know. Hopefully everybody else can see, um, here he see and hear. Okay. Here. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We are going to do our first drawing. Okay. So like I said, those gold adhesive backed swirls that are already sold out. I had an extra package and I thought somebody that loves to um, watch our Facebook lives is going to appreciate receiving those. So your name as always is in this little basket right here. If you shared our last Facebook live video, if you signed up for my email list, or if you shared the class to go kit post. Uh, so let's see if we got some names in here. We're going to jumble these around and let's see who our lucky winner is. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Let's see. Willa Dean. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Lucky winner. They're like stuck together. I always have to separate them out. Um, okay. So let's see. We have one winner and it is Miss Bonnie Pasternak. All right, Bonnie, congratulations. You are the winner of those little uh, gold adhesive back rolls. So I will get those sent out to you, Bonnie. Okay. Got to dump those out. Get ready for my next one. Okay. So we're all set there, right? Um, so on our next Facebook live, which I am still trying to figure out, you know, with the holidays, things get a little bit nutty. My kids are both actually Lily. My daughter came home last night. So we got to snuggle on the couch and chat and catch up, which was super duper great. And then our dog Stormy was like literally tucked right in between the two of us. So happy to have her home and to be able to snuggle together with us. So, and then my son Cade comes home tomorrow afternoon. So Anyway, kind of with that being said, I'm trying to manage like my schedule and their schedules and figure out what I'm going to do in the next Facebook Live. So I know it's not going to be next Friday because that's right before Christmas and I think everybody's going to be like kind of in the whole like hustle bustle of getting ready for Christmas, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. So I'm going to do it the following week, but I, I'm not sure if I can do it on Friday, which I guess would be... Um, would it be the 30th? Um, so I might do it on Wednesday, which would be the 28th. So I'll let you guys know as soon as I get my calendar figured out, I will post right here in our Facebook group if I'm going to be doing um, when I'm going to do the Facebook Live that week after Christmas. So with that being said, when I do our next Facebook Live, I will be drawing for the Champagne Rhinestones, one of my absolute, absolute favorite blingy things in. These are right out of our annual catalog. Hey, Lori, thanks for joining us. 
us. Welcome, welcome. So yes, we will give these away on our next Facebook Live. If you share this Facebook Live video right here, if you share my class to go kit post, or if you sign up for my email list, and that link to sign up will be above the details um, in this Facebook Live video this afternoon. And the link is also always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? That's a good hub. You can find lots of information um, right there. If you ever are wondering, what's the host code? What's this? What's that? Just go to Gathering Inc. with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, and there are lots of links and information there for you too, okay? So, uh, let's see. I'm like, ooh, what should we talk about next? Actually, so I want to give a congratulations to Bonnie, who just won those gold adhesive back swirls, Miss Bonnie Pasternak, and also Stacy Decker, both part of our Inspired Stampers team, my downline, uh, both promoted to Bronze Elite this month. So they actually, what that means is they accumulated $1,800 in what they call rolling 12-month sales. Uh, so they promoted to Bronze Elite, and the best part about Bronze Elite is they now get a 25% discount on all of their orders. So you start out when you first buy the starter kit, you have a 20% discount. And then um, once you promote to Bronze Elite at $1,800 in sales, you start receiving a 25% discount or 25% income commission on your orders. So woohoo, congratulations, ladies. That was very exciting to see that happen for both of them this month. So <laughs> you're sweet, Deb. Yes, yes. It was very awesome for them. Um, yeah, because who doesn't love like an additional discount on their orders, right? Of course we all do. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, so I think we're ready, right? I'm like looking around. I've got some more things I want to show you when we flip the camera down. Um, but yeah, oh, the last thing is we're going to do our other drawing. So if you put an online order in through me and use the host code that will be again in the details to this Facebook Live video and also at gatheringinspiration.com, you automatically receive the two cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. So here's the first one. Oh, well, that's not going to work. But actually, that, I don't know. Could you guys even tell, right? <laughs> this is, again, that framed and festive stamp set. Tis the season to be jolly. This is that little fun to fold with the fa-la-la on the inside, right? So you're going to get that card. And then also this beautiful fun fold that says, from our home to yours, Merry Christmas. So these are my thank you to you. A minimum $50 order using the host code, you automatically receive the two projects that I demonstrated on Facebook Live. So these projects right here, if you put an online order in through me. And I will tell you too, that I did extend um, the kind of offering for this because of the free shipping that we had just yesterday. So anybody that put an online order in yesterday and got the free shipping is also gonna get those projects as well as a thank you. In addition, they get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial, which this month, this is my project right here. We've got lots of beautiful holiday and winter theme projects. You can see 16 different projects in here. All of the details on how to make this card and the other 15 projects in here. You can pick from this, the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial, or I don't even have a full package of these because I've been using them so much and they're on order. Here they are. Uh, so the, you'll get a full pack, I promise. The iridescent rhinestones. Uh, let's see. Oh, what is she saying? Let's see. Case those cards. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Oh, I'm so glad, Luann. Very, very cool. <laughs> Yay. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. And I'm sure you had a great time with your neighborhood card making friends yesterday, too. That's very cool. You're welcome. Well, I I cased those from somebody or other, too. That I mentioned a couple weeks ago. I, I don't even have that stuff here anymore. But yeah, generally, there aren't too many of my own ideas, especially layouts, because there's so many great layout ideas. And you can make them look so different, too, right? Like you find a, a cute project and then you use whatever you have on hand or that's current and it looks totally different. So yeah. Okay. So anyway, back to what I was saying, your $50 order, you get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, or I promise a full package of the iridescent rhinestones and even better, your name right now is in the drawing to win the Adorable Owls, the Adorable, Adorable Owls stamp set. So this is one of the celebration offerings that you'll be able to get for free with a $50 order starting January 5th, but I have an extra set to give away right now. So, okay, yep, I've got names in here. 
Okay, so here we go. One lucky winner will get that adorable owl stamp set before you can even get it. If you're a demonstrator, you can get celebration rewards right now too. So that's one of the big perks of being a demonstrator is you get an extra month of celebration basically. So we've been able for the entire month of December, every time we order $50, we can get a free celebration item. So that's how I have that stamp set to give away right now. Okay, so the lucky winner is Miss Heidi Sue Parsons Moore. All right, congratulations, Heidi Sue. You are the winner of the Adorable Owl stamp set. So I will get that sent out to you. Congratulations. Such a cute stamp set. I just love it. Okay, <clears throat> so on our next Facebook Live that will be after Christmas, we are going to give away the thanks a bunch. This is another fun celebration stamps that love that carrot i'm just like can't wait to kind of get started playing i haven't really had a chance things are just you know this is like a kind of a crazy time of year right so anyway this stamp set super fun let me tell you the sentiments we've got oh i haven't even like looked at it very well yet there's the look at you with the exclamation point that's cute it looks like spring um there's a hay there i am thinking that because there's the thanks and a bunch so i was gonna say a bunch but i'm like that that doesn't work you got to put that together with thanks or maybe love you a bunch that would be cute right there's no one quite like you <laughs> everything's coming up carrots okay that's an interesting one and then some fun imagery there also in the thanks a bunch stamp set so this is what we will give away on our next facebook live if you put an online order in through me using the host code that i will give you in just a moment when we flip the camera down uh, also it's on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com okay so we'll draw for that on our next facebook live okay i better put these rhinestones back over here because we're using them today on a project and otherwise i'll get over there and be like oh where is where are my rhinestones okay i keep looking around trying to make sure but i think i want to kind of clear my table a little bit actually i need to clear this thing off a lot <laughs> before I flip the camera down. Oh, actually, one other thing I want to mention. I have just announced that I'm doing another paper share. Now, I can't show you guys anything. Yeah, sorry, I'm still like trying to get organized here. Um, I have this little flyer that I put together, um, and I've been, I think I've emailed, or I'm going to email about it. I can't quite remember now. Uh, I know I've been posting on Facebook, but anyway, there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different packages of designer series paper in the new mini catalog plus you also get a free sampler of it's called the flowers and more the host designer series paper that's in the back of the mini catalog and there's the dainty flowers day at the farm favored flowers and danzy designs it's four different packages of celebration dsp you're going to get a sampling of all of that too so i guess 14 15 19 different packs of designer series paper essentially you get a sample of in the paper share you for sure get a quarter of a pack um, and then you get a sample of the others for just $50, okay? So my first order is going to go in on the first day that I can order all of this stuff, which is January 5th. So as soon as I order, get it in, get it cut, and I'll get it um, put out on the porch or shipped out to you. And I'll keep kind of doing that for every group of four um, people that want a designer series paper, paper share, I'll order again and then get it prepped and packed and ready for you. My final order is going to go in on Tuesday, January 31st. So that's like the drop dead deadline to say you want to get into the mini catalog paper share. Okay. Again, $50. If you need it shipped to you, it's an additional $10 for the priority mail shipping. So, I, and pretty soon I'll be able to show you guys. I don't even have all of the paper yet. I was able to order some of it, but I thought, okay, I don't want to confuse things. But the, of course, as always, the paper is gorgeous. Plus, it's a great way. A quarter of a pack, you get a little sample of everything. Decide what you love, and then you can order additional, you know, full packages of the paper that you absolutely can't live without, right? Which could be all of them. You never know, right? If you ordered everything, what did I figure? It's over $200, yeah, to purchase all of these packs of paper. So you spend $50, get a quarter of a pack, and you get all these other freebies as well. Okay, I think, whew, man, I'm talking a mile a minute as usual, right? I have to find, I forgot to pull out my host code papers. I know they're in here. Oh, boy, that's not what I wanted to <laughs> I just dumped a bunch of stuff off the back of my table. 
Okay, one moment while I get that picked up because that's what I want to show you guys next, of course. Okay, oops, there's a die way underneath the table here too. <laughs> okay, sorry. You guys could see me. I'm like rooting around here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. I think I've got, I've got them all. Now I just need to make it look pretty on my board here again. <laughs> Is that even possible, Amy? Okay. You ready? We're gonna turn your heads away, flying through the air, flipping the camera down. Okay, here we go, ladies. All right, we're good. Okay, hello. All right, here's the host code for this month for the December. The HJKCY68D. All right, so I wanted to show you guys. Mm, nope, I'm not doing that yet, am I? Oh, let's see. I want to show you guys the four cards we made at the card our card class. So the simple, beautiful card class we had last Friday. I cased every single one of these, which I've, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of lately because there are so many great ideas out there. So this one was actually a swap that I received from Ruth Bingle, and I love. So, of course, I had to buy this die that has all the little dots. Can't remember the name of it, but you'll find that in the, um, in the annual catalog, I'm pretty sure. And then that beautiful frame. And then look at her coloring was even better than mine. That's why I'm showing you her card. <laughs> she did a, a gorgeous job of coloring. And then that cute little enjoy the day, right? Super cute, right? So that was one of the cards we made last Friday at our simple, beautiful card class. Then we made <clears throat> this one. I would say I kind of lightly generally cased from Amy Conders at Stamp with Amy K. Uh, I think she had a little like different colors, but the kind of layout was the same too. But I love this little swimsuit um, stamp set. I think it's called Hello Sunshine. Super duper cute. And then we used some of the, um, that was the tea, the tea, whatever it was, designer series paper from the annual catalog. So I kind of jumped back because I figured uh, middle of December, probably everybody has all of the um, Christmas cards and Christmas product. Like if you haven't ordered it by now, you're not going to get it in time for Christmas. So I kind of went back and pulled out some of my favorites from the annual catalog that I hadn't gotten to play with enough of. And then here's another fun one. Let's see this one. I let's see this one is best wishes oh Lori Pinto um created a card like this she actually used some of this ribbon and stamped the best wishes right on the ribbon and then kind of frayed the edges and it was super duper cool um so I didn't I did not actually do that I love this label too um I can't remember <laughs> you know this was like all of last week right um but this is one of the dies again in the annual catalog maybe the poppies the poppy dies um, but I love this. And then that designer series paper, the Cottage Rose, that I'm going to show you that class to go in just a moment. And then last but not least, this was the swap card that I received. And this was sitting on my craft table for forever. I had to make sure to get this stamp set, the Sending Sunshine and Good Feelings Your Way. I love that sentiment. And then I was, when I went to make this card, I'm like, do I even have that die? But I did. I changed things up a little bit. I kind of went with the bright yellow because um, I love the idea of the sending sunshine on the bright yellow card, right? But this die is actually in that happiness abounds, um, that sweet. Um, it's got a bunch of flowers, but then it's got that cool little edging there too. So, so those were the four cards that we made at our simple, beautiful card class this month. So I just wanted to share those with you guys. Okay, <clears throat> one more quick little reminder, I guess I would say. I'm not going to go through all the details, but if you're interested in the Cottage Rose class to go, oh, maybe the stamp set fell. That's probably the only thing that, oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. So, Cottage Rose stamp set, the dies that coordinate with the Cottage Rose stamp set. Some of them die cut these things specifically, and some of them just kind of coordinate beautifully. You also, um, we're including the white crinkled seam binding ribbon. Again, a full package of the rustic metallic dots. This is what I have left for now. And then the Cottage Rose Designer Series paper is also featured. So these are the four cards. I've been posting, emailing. If you have any questions, let me know, but I'd love to get one of these class to go kits sent out to you. The cards are just gorgeous. Here's kind of a little fun 
kind of an off-center fold on that one. And then this one right there, right, with the little feel better soon. So awesome, awesome. I love these cards, and they're just gorgeous. So um, let's see. RSVPs are actually due by next Friday, December 23rd. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, I can send you the link if you want more information, but I'd love to get one of those class to go kits sent out to you. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I think, are we ready? Yes, I feel like I've done everything. Okay. I think we're good to go, ladies. Okay, so let me get my grid paper out. We are going to have some fun making these cute treat projects. Let me just make sure there's the edge of the paper. I was just trying to make sure that we're all in view here. Okay, quick sip of water. <laughs> okay, so where to begin? Actually, I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is the treat bag that we are going to make, right? Okay, this started from my friend Jennifer made this cute little bag last year. And I was like, oh, this is just so cute. And it actually is super duper simple to make. So I've hung on to this. She gave it to me, like I said, like last Christmas time, right? So I made club member treats this month. Um, actually last month, I think it was, that look like this, basically same design, right, as her bag. And I think I showed you guys these little club member treats. Christine, hello, thanks for joining, or excuse me, Charlene, my eyes are like so blurry. Oh my gosh, I really need to get to the eye doctor, don't I? Uh, so anyway, yes, these were the club member treats that I made based off of her little gift bag. And then I decided, because I've been telling you, oh, I'm going to post on my blog how to make these things, and I just have not had a chance to do my blog posting um, like I would like to. My other jobs are just crazy right now. Um, so anyway, I thought, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to actually make this on Facebook Live so you can see how to make these cute little treat bags. And they are so simple. You can see they feature um, whatever designer series paper you want to feature, right? I will also share with you that I made these cute little tags that I kind of used on there also. My friend Ellie is a beekeeper. She actually has bees and she makes honey. Well, I guess the bees make honey, but she, I don't know, do you, do you say harvest? I'm not even sure what you say. Anyway, she had all of these jars of honey that she wants to sell at Christmas time. So I made these cute little tags for her um, to go on her jars of honey. And so I kind of used that tag on that little bag right there too. And you can see kind of similar idea here too, right? Okay, so that's the backstory. Now we're actually gonna make this little treat bag right here. So we're gonna move these guys out of the way. And I'm sure I have notes somewhere in here about how I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna <laughs> find those. And I will make sure you guys know exactly how to make this project. I will post all of the details to make this cute little treat bag on my blog this afternoon, okay? So here we go. We are going to start with our designer series paper that measures six inches by 12 inches, okay? Is that pretty good there, right? I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Along, actually we're gonna turn it this way first. So along the bottom edge, we are going to score it at one and a half inches. Okay, so just make sure it's tight up on the corner there. So one and a half, you're gonna score it there. Now we're gonna turn it the long way and along the long side, we are gonna score it again at one and a half inches. We're gonna score it at five and three quarter inches, seven and one quarter, and 11 and a half, okay? All right, so that's all you need to do. We're gonna scoot this little scoring plate out of the way, and then we're basically gonna just fold along all of our score lines to get our bag started, okay? So get that one, that one, that one. And then one more right there, okay? So simple enough so far, right? Okay, now we're gonna grab our scissors and <laughs> I'm like looking at my little piece of paper over here. Yep, okay. So I'm gonna flip it back over. Somehow I can see the score marks a little bit easier on this side right here. Okay, so we're gonna cut up along all of the score marks at the bottom, the one and a half inches up to that intersecting score mark at the one and a half inches, okay? Okay, so we're gonna do all of these. And we're actually gonna cut this little tab off all the way. You don't need that one, okay? 
Next we are, and you know what? I actually only brought my stamp and seal and I want my seal plus and I forgot that. So I'm gonna go grab that real quick. Cause I think for any of these kind of 3D projecty type things and things that you're gonna put something inside, you need a little bit heavier duty adhesive than that. So let me grab that real quick. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay. So let me show you the basic idea and then I'll actually put it together. So this little flap right here, we're gonna put adhesive and then we're gonna just, hmm, why is that not? There we go. It's like, that doesn't feel like it's gonna, okay, what's going on? Did I do that at one inch? Hmm, 11 and a, oh, I did it at one. <laughs> I think that's what's going on here, I did that. I'm off a little bit. This should have been, yeah, I scored that at 11 and it should have been 11 and a quarter. So it's all right though. We're gonna just score it right here. <laughs> I hope it's gonna be all right. Let's see, is that gonna fit? Yeah, that's gonna fold. And I don't think that's gonna be a problem because that's gonna be on the inside. Okay, so I just misscored that on that last one. I know I said 11 and a half, but then I scored it at 11 inches. So we're gonna just run a little bit of adhesive I was kept looking at that like it's only a little half inch flap inside there. Okay, so sorry about that, but that'll be okay. Okay, so we're gonna run our stamp and seal plus on that little one and a half inch because this is the idea. You should just be able to lay this down flat and then adhere that, okay? Then we're gonna fold this up. So again, this is not gonna be a problem. Normally you'd have that little piece right there, but you're gonna fold both of these guys in here that's gonna go there and that's gonna go there. So you won't even be able to tell that you've got that little bit right there. <laughs> yes, yes, you love it. Okay, I'm, well, I'm glad I can help you feel better, Robin. <laughs> it's not so good when you're doing it live and you're supposed to like really, you know, seem like you know what you're doing, but okay, that's good. I'm, I'm glad you feel better. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so now we're gonna just put a little bit of adhesive on each of, uh, yeah, we are gonna use our seal plus. Trying to figure out if that's gonna be a problem now <laughs> with this. It might be a little bit, but I think it's gonna work out all right. So this adhesive, we are going to, and you just wanna make sure that that's kinda of even along that edge, and I think we're gonna be okay there. There's some extra adhesive here, or this is what I was worried about, but that's gonna flip down there, and we'll hold everything all together. So now we're gonna run one more strip of our stamp and Seal Plus along there, and then we make the bottom of our bag. And what I like to do, did I actually put it in here? I did, yeah. I love to use my bone folder and kind of, I'm just swirling around inside here to make sure, because you could put your hand down in there, but I think that's easier to do. And then, I mean, look at how simple this is. You just kind of pinch those together so they just gather. And there's your bag, you guys. Isn't that so simple? So you could make uh, well, let's see, out of one package, actually, of this designer series paper, you could make a billion because um, you can make two of these bags out of each 12 by 12 because you need a six by 12 piece of designer series paper. Okay, so now let's make the little tag here. I, I love this ribbon, so cute. This was part of, um, well, what is it even called? Let's see, why don't we look at the name of it, Amy? This is called the Metallic Mesh Ribbon, and this was part of our Halloween suite last year, uh, but it's so much fun, I think, for holidays, too, because it's that kind of pretty silvery um, and really soft and easy to work with, too. Okay, so here we go. Let's pull out these things. Okay. Oh, you know what? Before I forget, let me show you what I put inside of these little um, treats. This is one of the little Debbie, I think it's called a Star Crunch, and it fits inside there perfectly. So you could actually even something a little bit bigger would fit in there too. Any of those little Debbie um, treats fit in there very nicely, but kind of for scale so you can see the idea. And yes, it is such cheery DSP, isn't it? That's why, that's why I think this is one of my most favorite um, designs in that designer series paper, Luann, because it's very cheerful. Yes, it is. Okay, so we've got that in there. Um, what are we doing now? Okay, I <laughs> have this whole pile of stuff. Let's see. Okay, we've got, we've got some pieces of cardstock. So you guys, I did these like, I don't know, two or three days ago. And I'm, the, the details are like lost on me now because I haven't um, had a chance to go back and like 
kind of re-familiarize myself. So we're both just going to, we're all going to kind of um, remember and learn as I go here. <laughs> but I have a piece of, this is my basic white cardstock. I have, uh, this is Pacific Point. This is actually what I was wanting to show you. This is part of the Brights Designer Series paper. One of the pieces um, in here, the Brights Designer Series paper. Again, you get all of the um, Brights card stock or Brights colors designer series paper in this pack of paper and there's the other Pacific Point pattern right so I wanted to use the polka dots and then another piece of uh, Pacific Point card stock because you can see I've got a few layers so I'm going to stamp and punch and then I put that on a little piece of Pacific Point I put the polka dots and then another circle in Pacific Point so I'll show you what I mean let's do our stamping first though Okay, so again, I've got my Pacific Point cardstock, I mean ink, that matches my Pacific Point cardstock. <laughs> yes, those are beautiful, aren't they? The colors of Designer Series Paper Dub, the brights. Let me make sure that's nice and inked up. Okay, press down firmly. There we go. We did our nice, easy tap, tap, tap. There we go. Okay, so I love this punch, that decorative circle punch. I have used this so much. I think it just fits perfectly on those circles, right? Okay, so we've got that one there. All right, then we are going to do some die cutting with <clears throat> the rest of these things. Okay, so yes, I do. <laughs> Where is my die cutting machine? But I think we've got it right here. Okay. Guys, can I see? So I'll tell you what we're using to cut all of these circles now. Sorry, that seems a little wiggly today. I'm just gonna flip that. Okay, I think. I don't know. We might have to. We're gonna do it two times through. Okay, so here we go. We have a couple of circle dies. We are going to use this circle there and that one right there. Let's see if we can figure out sizes. So we've got one. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the sixth largest or smallest and seventh smallest, I guess I would say, of each of those dies. So we're going to die cut these. These are the layering circle dies, okay? And you can use whatever circle size you have or if you have punches. A lot of times I use punches when I'm making... Um, you know, lots of multiples of things. So I probably did use punches on those other club member treats. Kind of try not to do that since they're not available any longer. Um, but you can use the layering circle dies too. Okay, so can you see? Just a little. So this just kind of framed just a tiny bit around there. That kind of pops out better, right? And then I wanted to have the little polka dots. I kind of wondered about doing the plaid but then I thought maybe that was too much on there, right? And actually what I really wanted to use was this designer series paper, but it's from the Gnome DSP that's already sold out. So I was like, I can't tease you guys with that. So I thought this one worked very nicely too, the little polka dots, right? Okay, and then we just need to die cut one more circle. This time we are going to use the Stylish Shapes dies that unfortunately are on back order for a few more weeks. In January, they're supposed to be available again. So if you don't have them, hold tight. You will be able to order them. Um, they just say not available right now. But I use them all the time, and so I had to show you. And maybe you have them also, right? We've got the little stitching on there too. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. I'm glad you're enjoying Yes, and just so simple, too. Like, that's what I love about these kind of treat bags. Um, you know, when you need to make a bunch of them, you know, if you have lots of time, great. But if you don't, then these are super cute anyway, right? Okay, um, let's see. We're going to just get this stuff out of here. I wanted to show you guys. This is the Merriest Moments stamp set. I forgot to mention that that was the stamp set that I used. This is actually in our annual catalog because it's a carryover from last year's holiday catalog. Hey, Linda, how are you? Thanks for joining us. And I love this sentiment too. Together is the merriest place to be. Thought about using that one also, but I ended up with this thinking of you this festive season. And I love this one too, right? A joyful Christmas to you and yours and season's greetings. Okay. Um, I think we are ready. We're going to scoot that guy right back out of the way. So I'm going to bring this right back into view so I can help myself <laughs> do this the way I want to do it or the way I did it on this one too. And thanks for the share, Linda. Okay, so we're gonna add our adhesive. 
And we're just, like I said, just wanted to frame that piece just that little bit, right? Then we are going to put some dimensionals on the back of this one, because I thought when you do that, it kind of helps. Oops, oh, that's funny. That, I already peeled one off. There we go. <laughs> the back and the front all came off at the same time. Ah, a few minutes before you go to work. Well, good, I'm glad you can join us for that few minutes before it's time to go to work, Miss Linda. Okay, so then we've got our other Pacific points. So you can kind of see all the layers happening there, right? And then we are going to add a couple of dimensionals behind that little, those tags right there. We are going, actually, I'm gonna pop that out for a sec. One thing I will tell you guys is I like to make sure, so that seam um, that was the edge, I like that to be on the back. So I'm gonna make this be the front here. We're gonna just pop this on. Just trying to make sure it's centered, right? Just put that on there. Then you are going to use um, a little hole puncher. And we're just gonna punch. So I don't wanna punch too close to these edges. So I wanna kind of be, you know, you can see where that cuts inside. I wanna be inside of that. And we're just gonna kind of eyeball it. You don't want it too close to the top because you don't want it to rip out, right, when you're kind of putting it together. And then one more on that side right there, okay? And then we are going to use that mesh ribbon. So pretty. Just adds this fun little sparkle, okay? And you can see, actually, I meant to even kind of show you guys that too. I think if you look at the back side of this designer series paper, this would be great. Like if you don't need um, Christmas projects, maybe you could use like a little Valentine treat idea. This, the back of this paper right here would be perfect to use this side for a Valentine treat instead too. So wanted to kind of show that, that obviously you can make these for like little party favors for a birthday party or something too. Lots and lots of different, you know, whatever occasion you need a treat for, even like for Easter or something, just find some paper and a sentiment um, that is appropriate for what you need it for. Okay, so we're going to just tie this in a bow. Okay, scoot that over there. Roseanne, hello. Oh, you know what I will tell you guys is make sure, I think it's easier to kind of keep the ribbon intact, like see how it's kind of flipped over? I When I first tied this, it was all like kind of mangled up and I think it's easier if you can to kind of keep it wide, if you will, when you are making this bow. It's easier to kind of um, work with it that way, I think. And it makes a prettier bow, I like anyway, when it's wide like that than when it's all like squinchied up. So if that makes sense, <laughs> you know in very technical terms when it's all squinchied up, right? Okay, there we go. So there is treat bag number one, super duper simple and easy, right? Aren't those fun? Okay, now, oh yeah, and actually that little guy goes inside too. He may get eaten after Facebook Live, you never know. <laughs> Just saying, probably could use a snack about now, right? Okay, uh, let's see, we're gonna grab our little what is this? Our chamois. We're going to just kind of clean this off real quick. There we go. Okay, we are ready for project number two. So this actually was a little treat that I made for my club members and actually anybody that came to my customer appreciation event like way back, was that September or October? It's been a while, but I absolutely love. This is a treat box that I make all the time. I think I've, I cased it from Erica Serwin at Pink Buckaroo Designs. She has so many cute 3D project ideas. So I'm always looking to her to, okay, Erica, what's a new idea? But this is one that like years and years ago I found um, on her blog and I loved it. Actually, we'll go that way, right? There we go. So it's just this cute little box that opens up, right? Put a little York peppermint patty in there and you just fold that up. 
and slide that back in there. So again, I've been promising that I was gonna to post to my blog how to make this. Since I never got a chance to do that, we're just doing it right here on Facebook Live. So this is my version for Facebook Live today. And again, so I used more of that designer series paper, which is called, what is it? The Celebrate Everything, yes, designer series paper. So this time I used the kind of pink and red pattern for Christmas, or again, you could change that sentiment and use it for, um, Valentine's Day as well. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh yes. So Erica Serwin, it's C E R, yeah, C E R W I N, and she's at Pink Buckaroo Designs. Super duper cute. She makes everything that she does, I absolutely love. Um, so yeah, check her out because she's got lots and lots of great ideas. Oh yes, thank you. And Linda just typed it in there too. So um, if you missed it, Robin, Linda just said, yeah, Erica Serwin at Pink Buckaroo. Perfect. Thank you, ladies. Yeah, she's one of my idols. Love everything, literally love everything that she does. So anyway, okay, so we are going to make this little treat box. And I just think it's so professional looking too, like with the little, when you round the corners there, right? And then where's my little... So I have York peppermint patties, like Christmassy ones. I got these for my dad as a little, like, pick him up when he was in the hospital. He couldn't really eat too much, so I think I brought him two of them. <laughs> so I have the rest of them, but I'm keep thinking, like, okay, maybe I'll, like, give him two more every every day or every other day or something. Because he would probably eat a bunch of them, and he should not be doing that right now. So, okay, there we go. There it is. So, yes. All right, let's go ahead and put that little little box together, too. Okay. And get all my stuff out. Actually, I don't want to put it out too much though because I need to get that scoring plate. And I don't want anything to be in the way. Right? Okay. All right. So this one, kind of amazingly enough, uses a piece of cardstock that is five and a half by seven inches so you can actually get two of these little boxes out of one piece of cardstock and still have kind of a strip of cardstock left over right okay because what it would be like here's your five and a half so here's your 11 and then by eight and a half so you just cut off that little one from seven inches so the one and a half inch strip there and then cut the paper in half at five and a half inches so super duper simple and easy okay so let's see actually we're going to flip it this way though so on the long side we are going to score this at two and three eighths inches and four and five eighths inches, okay? Then along this short side, we're gonna score it at three quarters of an inch, one and a half inches, four inches, and four and three quarters. So if you guys can kind of, can you see the score marks in there? And I'm going to, this is like <laughs> one that probably from one of my original projects, this is what we're going to cut it down to and then actually put it together from there. So this little baby I've had for forever, it's my little template and I use it all the time. Okay, but you kind of have the idea there and I'll show you how we're going to get to that, okay? Let's fold along each of our score marks first of all though. So we're gonna do those, and then we've got this one here and this one here, okay? So what I kind of, I have this little like lingo, and maybe even Erica said it too, I can't remember. But again, we're gonna cut up along each of these score marks. You're gonna cut up there, and you're gonna cut up there, and then you're gonna trim that little piece off, okay? So the kind of the lingo is you cut up, and you cut up and you cut over or you cut off okay i'm gonna do that on all four sides of this so we're gonna cut up here scoot over to the next one beside it cut up here and then we're gonna cut that one off right there okay and one more time we are going to cut up on this one we are going to cut up on this one, I was waiting. The dog, the neighbor dog started barking and Stormy didn't even like bat an eye, but he heard him now, which is kind of crazy that he didn't hear him before. Okay, so now you can see we're getting closer, right? So now we're gonna round the corners. So these flaps don't need to be rounded, but everything else does. So you're gonna fold it in, fold those flaps in, and you're gonna score or you're gonna round all those corners, okay? So you need to have a corner rounder punch. I have my old one from Project Life. We've had lots of different ones 
available through the years. So you're just gonna, oops, I think I didn't get that very well. I'll fix that up. I can trim that with my scissors a little bit there, okay? And we're gonna, and sometimes, so because I can't see very well without my glasses on and I did not put them on, we're gonna just trim. <laughs> yeah, I was off a little bit here, wasn't I, okay? We're gonna just trim that up a little bit. And while I have my snips, I'm gonna just fix that little, so we're gonna go that way. There we go. Okay, so now we are going to, <laughs> I'm making it look more complicated than it is, right? There's that one there. And it's really, it's like the flaps that sometimes you have to kind of fold in to get where you want, right? Okay, so then we're gonna fold these flaps in so we can do that one. And then we're going to do that one, and then same thing. And I'll come back and trim some things up here, too. I'm seeing a few. But it's funny how once you put it together, you really don't even see some of these little bits that are bothering me right now. Okay. But I will. Since I have my glasses on, I'm just going to come in and kind of trim up along a couple of these points here. <laughs> Heading out for lunch with the hubby. That's awesome. Well, Merry Christmas to you, too. I hope you have an enjoyable lunch with hubby, Miss Luann. Thanks for hanging out with us. Okay, I think I've got all my little bits trimmed off. Okay, so can you see? And I'm going to lay this back down on here so I can make sure that everything looks the same. Yep. Okay, so the last little bit is to put adhesive just on one side. So you don't need it on all four, and I'll show you why. So we're going to put adhesive here and here and then you put your box together. It's so easy. Okay, we are gonna use our Stamp and Seal Plus. We're gonna put some adhesive on that one. We're gonna put some adhesive on that one. I'll show you actually before I do this. So this is the idea. These are gonna fold in and you've got adhesive on here and on here, okay? And then this is gonna fold in and adhere to that side and that's gonna fold in and adhere to that side and then those ends just roll up, okay? So simple, easy, super duper cute. Okay, so there's one there. And I've got adhesive there. So then you just kind of pinch those together, lay those, and then that, and that. And look at that, isn't it? It's so cute and simple and easy and fun. And your little um, York Peppermint Patty fits right inside there. <laughs> there, no PDF, Linda. Actually, that's why I decided I'm like, I'm just doing it right now. Um, so if you didn't get all the details, I will list out how to do it. And then if you just watch the video right here on Facebook Live again, that'll answer any other questions that you have. So yes. Hey, Janina, how are you? Okay, so next we are going to use, this is a piece of designer series paper that measures one by eight inch, right? Okay, so that is going to just kind of, we're gonna fold that up. And then this, we're gonna just wrap around there. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you too, Miss Jeannie. Okay, all right, so there we go. We are going to, and again, I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus because I want to make sure to hold this together really well, okay? So let's see, we're gonna flip this around here. And you want, I want it to pop up just a little bit, so I'm not gonna do it super tight. And also because I want to be able to um, slide it on and off easily enough, okay? There, so that's gonna slide off. You guys can see, right? It just slides off right there, right? Okay, and now we are gonna put our little tag together, okay? Uh, let's see, so I moved everything. Yeah, right here. Okay, so yeah, there's just a little bit of stamping and punching. So why don't we do that? Let's use, this is, and I can't even remember what it's called, but it's kind of interesting because when you look at this shape here and then turn it square, right? So it's kind of funny how it looks like a, like a diamond almost, and then it's a square when you do it that way. So it just depends on what you need it for. It kind of punches um, diamond shape, but I want it to be more square. If you guys, if that makes sense. So this looks more like a diamond, right? And that looks more like a square. I don't know why. It's funny because I was like, do I have that punch? Um, when I, I don't know if I, oh yeah, well I saw it on here, right? And I was like, well, how did I do that? But it's a punch, that little green piece right there. Okay. So that's that. Then we are going to do our, let's pull this back into view, right? So we're just going to stamp our Christmas cheer on some basic white cardstock. 
So nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We're gonna press straight down, lift straight up. And this stamp is from the Sweet Candy Canes stamp set. Love this stamp set, right? That little Christmas cheer right there, right? Then we are going to use, okay, this is the, I guess it's the third smallest or third largest, but the middle circle die. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna stand or die cut that right there. And then we're also going to use, these are called the Give It a Whirl dies, and we're gonna use that little heart right there. Hi, Deb French, how are you? Thanks for joining us. We're just gonna die cut a little heart right on there also, okay? So actually, let's scoot these out of the way so we can do our die cutting. And again, this is another simple one, just a couple of little details. And it makes such cute little tree boxes. Okay, so we got that one there, that one there. <clears throat> okay, here we go, a little bit of die cutting. And what's so cute is this little heart has stitching on it also. Can you guys see if I get really close in there? Can you see the little stitching on the heart, right? And then of course the circle with the stylish shapes dies has that stitching also. Okay. There we go. All right, let's scoop this guy out of the way. And I think we are about ready to put things together, right? I'm gonna bring that back in and keep like, okay, I gotta make sure I know what I'm doing, right? Okay. So we're gonna put a couple of dimensionals behind our Christmas cheer sentiment, okay? And then we're gonna just pop that. Isn't I love that shape, just so cute. But again, I don't know why it just throws me. It can be a diamond or it can be a square. I just think it's great. Okay, so that little guy goes right on there. And then we're gonna use a little mini dimensional to put behind our heart. And we're just gonna pop that guy right on there. And then we're gonna put some more dimensionals on this piece to go on our little treat box, okay? And then a couple more little last finishing touches, right? We are gonna use our iridescent rhinestones. I'm gonna use one of these, the smaller ones. And we're gonna just put this little bit right there. And then lastly, we are using, this is the In Color Baker's Twine Combo Pack. And it's kind of fun how this is, is it Sweet Sorbet? You can kind of make it look like real red or poppy parade, whatever color you need it to, become, I guess I would say, that it, it coordinated nicely. And I can't um, say enough how much I think these would make super cute little Valentine treats too. So if you've already got all your Christmas stuff done, um, or anytime, again, this is another one. I've made fall treat boxes with this, um, made little party, party favors like for birthday parties, uh, maybe like a baby shower, wedding shower. You could do lots of fun things with these little boxes as well. Trim that little bit off and there we go. All right, treat box number two, how fun, huh? And like I said, in terms of sizing, um, those, what did I put in there? The, um, oh my gosh, I'm totally drawing a blank. Now I gotta open it up. What are, the York Peppermint Patty <laughs> is the perfect size to go in there. That I was like totally drawing a blank. Okay, so ladies, whew, all right. I think it's one of those like, okay, I made it, I did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, very cute. Yes, quick, versatile, simple, easy. Thank you, Linda, I agree. Okay, so ladies, don't forget, if you use this host code and order through me, putting at least a minimum $50 order in online, you're gonna get both of these projects received from me, right? You are going to get your name entered into the drawing to win the Thanks A Bunch stamp set. And you are also gonna be able to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the, uh, what are these? The rhinestones, the rhinestones, a full package of rhinestones. You get to pick either one of these as a thank you from me for your order. So thank you guys so much for watching. Also, actually, if you bump your order up to $100, you get five free handmade cards too. So lots of awesome goodies to be had from ordering through me, which I truly, truly appreciate your order. So thank you guys for those. All right, 
Have a great weekend. Have a super Merry Christmas. Happy holiday. And I will see you guys after Christmas, right? And like I said, I'll, I'll let you know when we're going to be doing that, but it'll be that either Wednesday or Friday after Christmas. Okay, thanks everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas. Bye.